In this video, we will add jump, crouch, walk, turns, and turn the place to our motion matching. First, make sure you've seen the first video about motion matching, link in the description in case you haven't, and that you have the database and layer animations. I tried to upload the video sooner, but got sick and didn't have a voice for a few days, so if I sound a little off, please excuse me. Let's start with the simplest thing, adding stops and pivots to smooth our animations. Just drag them in and make sure you write MM since we are using male animations. Let's test it out to make sure there are no bugs and move on. As for walk animations, since motion matching is a smart thing, it's super easy as well. Just grab all of your walk animations and put them right here. In order to test it, let's put change to walk animation on control. Mark those nodes, control D to duplicate, press on the little keyboard sign and then press left control on your keyboard, delete this, type max walk speed, Press it to comment and let's check it out. The system recognizes when we are on low speed and changes our animations to the walk animations. From this and the last video we already have made in 5 minutes what will take much longer time with state machines. But as you see we have a little problem. So when I try to do this, it bugs out. How do we fix it? Go to your app, fast pause history, go down, change this value to 120. And let's check it out. Nice. Now real quick, let's do our turn in place. Let's go to our database and edit our turn animations. As you can see, it is trying to do the animations, but it's stuck, so we need to do a few things. First, we need orient rotation to be disabled and use controller desired rotation to be true. So just copy the nodes from before and for this, make sure you drag the mouse from the character movement. Let's put it on a key for now. Compile and remember to connect everything. We are rotating, but without our animation. And that's because we need to give the system the information that we are rotating and want animation that is rotating as well. First, let's add two idle animations for later. Now, let's go to our PSS. Just a reminder, this is the place that determines which animations the system will pick. First, let's add a bone to our pose channel. Since we are rotating, we want to get our pelvis bone. And now let's add another channel, which is the velocity channel. With it, we can query poses based on the character's velocity. Again, let's choose our pelvis bone, since it is the one we care about right here. The way to determine how much this curve will affect on the system compared to the others. I forgot to mark velocity here as well. We want it to be high, so let's put it around 5, and down here, pick strip xy. Let's check it out. Nice. By the way, go ahead and play with all the values over here, adjust it to what fits you. And of course, this is just a function. You can do whatever you want with it. You can put it on event tick to be activated only when the character is in place, 5 seconds in place, or any other thing that you want. Now, let's move on to crouching. First, Let's change our DB name to MQ Locomotion and create another one for Couch. Why are we making another one? I tried to make it work on the same DB, but it's buggy and I don't see a reason why to, instead to just create another one and switch between those. So super easy. Just search for Couch animations, press Ctrl A and drag them all right here. As for how we change it to a quiet state, Epic has kindly created a crouch function for us, so just make input for it. Then, create a boolean, name it is crouching, hold alt to set, and set true if we are crouching, and false if we are not. Let's go to our animation blueprint, grab the motion matching and type blend by bool. I'll explain what it does in a second, but before that we need to save our is crouching. So grab the cast, type is crouching, and set to a new ball. Really short about casting, since I got a comment about it in the last video. Yeah, casting is bad, but not here. The bad thing about casting is that as long as your BP is loaded, your casted BP is also loaded, which can be very expensive. But in that case, since it's our ABP of our blueprint, they are always loaded together anyway, so it doesn't matter. Back to crouching. With blend pose by bull, we can change it between databases, based on the bool. 
So if we are not crouching, let's put our locomotion database. And if we are crouching, Ctrl D to duplicate, we will use the crouching DB. Now let's check it out. Press C to crouch. Nice. For smoother transition, just change the values of the blend time in the blend by pull node to a bit higher. Before we get into the jump animation, I have a short important thing to say. I know it looks easy, but for a long time I tested out so many things in order to get to this outcome. So please, like the video, it helps me a lot. And I think it's also a good time to thank you guys for all the likes and the comments on the last video. It felt really good to finally see that I'm not doing it only for myself to watch, and that I'm actually helping you guys. So again, thank you, and please ask me anything you want in the comments, I promise to answer everything that I can. And for our last topic, air animations. Let me begin with the problem of the motion matching system. In order for it to work smoothly, you need a lot of animations. After all, Epic doesn't give us free 500 animations for nothing. When we get this, we will probably want to put their animations in the same database as the locomotion for smoother transitions. But I couldn't make it work with the code animations that are free for everyone. So now that I've finished yapping, let's create our new database, call it in air, and open it up. As for animations, I couldn't make the layer animations work here. And as for the mana queen animations, we don't have the mirrored animation of it. So you either can mirror it yourself, to be honest I've tried and couldn't do it for some reason, or just grab the jump animations of the free advanced locomotion project. Real fast, it's exactly as we did in the layer project last video. Go to the in air folder, grab for loop, jump left, jump right, and same for the walks. We don't need lens, since we're using blends. Migrate it, and we only need the animations and the meshes. Use the new Unreal 5.4 retargeting system, select our skeleton, click export, drag them in here, and don't forget to enable root motion and false root lock, as we did last video. In order to tell the system when we are in air, set a new boolean in the animation blueprint by the name is falling. Make sure you grab it from the character movement. And don't forget to compile. Go back to our animation graph, Ctrl D to duplicate blend by bool and the motion matching node, organize it a bit, grab is falling, connect the previous bool to false and in air database for true and change the database to our in air database. And all we have left is just to test it out and fix two small things. First, you see that we are working a bit too much before starting to run? I don't like it, so let's go to our PSS and change the origin bone to pelvis from wood. You can play with all the settings here as much as you want and find out what you like the most. And here you see the second problem. The crouch turn animations are bugging us out. You can either play with these things in the PSS until it works, or just delete those. Motion matching is a great system, but we all are really new and need to learn how to use it. So if you know something that I didn't say here, please write in the comments or even tag me in Twitter, because I really want to learn more about this system. And until Epic will release the project sample, all we have is a community. About shooting system, it's pretty easy as well, but the video is already too long, so I might release a short video about it soon. Don't forget to like, subscribe, even though I already said it, and have a wonderful day. Peace.